hold on, hold on. Don't you know you're supposed to recycle that? What's you the problem? Recycle. You're killing, you're <laughs> killing America! <laughs> In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups, the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. mother is recessive A, and the dad is recessive B. You draw in your Punnett square. And no matter if they're recessive or dominant, there is at least a 25% chance that their kid can be uh, AB blood. So, you're telling me all I have to do is find the parents of the killer, find out their blood types, create a Punnett square to figure out what possible blood types their child could have. you could just find the suspects. That's genius. Am I good to... Wait, how do you know that the, uh, the killer has A, B, blood? Well... Okay, so for example, with A blood, if you uh, test with the anti-A serum, it will make this dissolved sort of effect on the blood. And so our suspect's blood is AB negative. So um, when testing anti-A and anti-B uh, in the blood plate, it should have this effect on the A and B slots but the anti-RH will not change since it's a negative blood type. Interesting. Is there anything else blood can tell me? Of course, but I wouldn't know, so I think you should go talk to the blood spot analyst, which is over that way. Hi there. Are you the blood splatter analyst? Yes. Wait, what? Why don't you just... Oh, no. Is it your sister? Or? I don't have a sister. Okay, uh, well, um... <coughs> what can you tell me about this crop? What happened? Well, we analyzed the blood found at the crime scene, and we determined the right victim was standing during a beating, and we did that through the angle of incidents. What is that? <laughs> the angle in incidence helps us determine where the victim was standing when they were experiencing the trauma that happened at the crime scene. We find that through a mathematical equation with inverse sine and the width over the length. 
So, our blo so the blood spatter we analyzed was um, had a width of 2 millimeters and a length of 8 millimeters. So that gave us 14.5 degrees. And what does that mean for the crime? Well, it helps us know where they were standing as the blood was used. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Anything else? Well, we found two different types of blood spatter at the crime scene. We found a medium velocity spatter, and we also found a pool of blood. The medium velocity spatter occurs due to a beating or heavy force, and the pool of blood happens when there's blood uh, pooling. Um, we also determined, due to the blood spatters at the crime scene, that the victim died due to internal trauma in the head and also a loss. That's a bad way to go. It was really scary. He was getting beat up and then he got thrown in between dumpsters. I didn't know what to do, so I just kind of ran away. Were you, were you guys scared? Did you know what was happening? I don't really care. I was <laughs> I was terrified. It was really scary. Like, I don't want someone like that running around the school. Do you know the victim died? I, I don't know. I ran away before I could see anything. Hey, hey man. man! It's so good to see you! I see you since the 50s! How's it going? Pretty bad, actually. Oh, We've got sorry. like 10 different murders going on right now that are all over the country, and I think they're connected, but we'll see. Well, good luck! Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice. We found a mugshot of the suspect. There was a DNA match in the system. Oh yeah? Well, my mom's an A, my dad's a B. What are you gonna do about that? It is impossible. Genetics, man. Genetics. It is entirely possible for you to be AB blood. In fact, if your parents are both dominant, it is extremely possible. Here, look at this Punnett square. In fact, we're doing a DNA test right now, testing your blood against that blood, and I guarantee you it's going to be a match. So if you can confess now, and maybe we can make a deal. All right, all right, I did it, I did it. But I'm doing your job, and I'm taking out the trash. Take him away. Come on. But there's no recycling where you're going. No! Why? Okay, it's fine. We can just do this. So, we find the angle of the incident. Did your house vibrate? Oh, I'm moving. Remember, 
Take two! Go. Give it up, buddy! We know you killed him! Killed who? 